Hi friends, it's Miss Drew. I wanted to send you all a video and let you know that I was thinking about you because I've been thinking about you a lot. I'm here in the library in Treehouse and even though this is our classroom, it doesn't really feel like our classroom without you guys in it. So I just wanted to let you know that we miss you a lot. But I did want to read you a story. Because today we are taking Turkey, the dog, to the dog park, it got me thinking about stories about dogs and cats. And the one that came to mind is Mr. Putter and Tabby Walk the Dog. Chapter 1, The Lollipop Mr. Putter and his fine cat Tabby live next door to Mrs. Teaberry and her small dog, Zeke. Mrs. Teaberry sometimes gave Mr. Putter eggplant for his supper, and Mr. Putter sometimes gave Miss Teaberry kiwis for her lunch. They were very happy, living side by side. It's always nice when you like your neighbors. One day, Mrs. Teaberry slept on a kiwi and hurt her foot. Mr. Putter and Tabby took her to the doctor. The doctor said, this foot needs to rest. No walking Zeke, one week. No walking, Zeke, for a week, cried Mrs. Teaberry. But who will walk my little lollipop? She always called Zeke her little lollipop. It reminds me of how I call Alan the cat, Boo Boo. It's not really her. Then Mr. Putter, who had a very soft heart, said, I will. I will walk your little lollipop, Mrs. Teaberry. Mrs. Teaberry was very happy. But she was a little worried. I hope he doesn't tug, she said. Oh no, said Mr. Putter. Zeke won't tug. I hope he doesn't wrap around trees, she said. Oh no, said Putter, said Mr. Putter again. Zeke won't wrap. And I hope he doesn't chase other dogs, she said finally, especially big ones. Oh no, said Mr. Putter for the last time. Zeke is a good dog. Zeke is a fine dog. Mr. Putter looked at the little lollipop. Zeke is a dream dog, Mr. Putter said with a smile. Chapter 2 The Nightmare Zeke was a nightmare. The first day Mr. Putter and Tabby took him for a walk, he tugged. He tugged and tugged and tugged. He tugged Mr. Putter and Tabby through yards and creeks and houses they had never been to before. When Mr. Putter and Tabby got home, they had to have some warm milk and pudding to nap. Zeke is not a dream dog, Mr. Putter said to Tabby when they woke up. Zeke is a nightmare. The second day they took him for a walk, Zeke wrapped around trees. He wrapped around an elm tree. <laughs> he wrapped around a pine tree. He wrapped around a pear tree. And he always wrapped Mr. Putter and Tabby with him. When Mr. Putter and Tabby got home, they had to have some warm milk and popovers, and a nap. 
Zeke is not a dream dog, Mr. Putter said to Tabby when they woke up. Zeke is a nightmare. Hmm. The third day, Zeke chased dogs. And he didn't chase little ones. He chased big ones. He chased a Russian wolfhound. He chased a Great Dane. He chased a St. Bernard. Those are all really big dogs. He chased them until they got bored with being chased. Turkey likes being chased too. Then they turned around and chased Zeke and Mr. Putter and Tabby. The big dogs chased them through the yards and creeks and houses they had never been through before. I don't know if Mr. Putter and Tabby like that game. When Mr. Putter and Tabby got home, they had some warm milk and shortbread and a nap. Zeke is not a dream dog, Mr. Putter said to Tabby when they woke up. Zeke is a nightmare. The two of them sat for a long time, wondering what to do. They weren't sure they could live through another four more days with the lollipop. Hmm. Chapter three, the dream dog. Here's the deal, Zeke, Mr. Putter said on the fourth day. You be a good dog. And every day after our walk, you'll get a nice surprise. Hmm. Zeke was a smart dog, and he knew what the deal was. Turkey's a smart dog, too. The fourth day, he didn't tug, he didn't rap, and he didn't chase. He was a dream dog. So Mr. Putter and Tabby took him to the Frosty Freeze. Zeke had a hot fudge sundae with extra cherries. The fifth day, Zeke didn't tuck, and he didn't rap, and he didn't chase. He was a dream dog again. So Mr. Putter and Tabby took him to the swimming pool. He jumped off the diving board 15 times. On the sixth day, Zeke was a dream dog and he went to the carnival. <laughs> Tabby looks pretty surprised. <laughs> On the seventh day, Zeke was a dream dog and he went to the zoo. When Mr. Putter and Tabby took Zeke home for the last time, Mrs. Tewberry asked, was Zeke a good lollipop? Wait, seven days? I guess that's a week, huh? The week is already up. That went by fast. And Mr. Putter, who had brought her pecans instead of kiwis, good idea, smiled the biggest smile. He said, Zeke was a dream lollipop. Then he and Tabby said goodbye and went home and had a party. <laughs> the end. I also thought that since it's been a long time since we told knock knock jokes to each other, I wanted to share one knock-knock joke you've probably heard before, and a new one that I found. So the one you might have heard before is knock-knock. Did you say, who's there? I'll start over, I'll start over. Remember you say, who's there? And then you say, who, who, okay. Knock-knock. Banana. Banana, banana. Knock-knock. Banana. Banana, banana. Knock-knock. Orange, 
Aren't you glad I didn't say banana this time? And the new one, you ready? The new one is knock knock. Orange. Aren't you going to let me in? It's cold out here. Thank you for listening, friends, and I hope to see you all really soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.